G'day mate, 40 here. Looking at world famous Bondi Beach. So, one of the qualities of being a narcissist is that you want to attach to people you regard as powerful so that you can get power by kind of attaching to them. And so I've always had a whole bunch of uh, heroes and power figures. I've always had people I looked up to and not really understanding the, the dynamics of narcissism. But I was looking for power, right? I was looking for power by trying to connect with powerful people. The uh, narcissist feels like if he can just connect himself to powerful people, then, uh, then he'll be okay, then he'll have power, and people will respect him. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, but uh, that's reality. Now, in my Dennis Prager stage, like I guess I started listening to him in 1988 when I was at UCLA. Now, I, I took many of his maxims seriously. I took him very seriously. I remember my stepmother once said, somebody should tell Dennis Prager that Luke will one day betray him like he does everybody else. <laughs> And uh, so Dennis would, would talk about, you know, what a waste of time it is to watch TV. And so Dennis would suggest these various questions to ask women when you go on a date, such as like, how much TV do you watch? And so I would do this. Like I took many of his prescriptions very seriously and they are often terrible. So one of his prescriptions was, you know, ask, ask a woman on a date how much TV she watches. So, I met this very spicy Persian, like very sarcastic. Right? I love sarcastic women. You know, most women aren't really into sarcasm. But thank God she was. And she was adorable. She was so cute and so smart and so fast with her wit. And so I was chatting with her one evening. So, like a good Dennis Prager acolyte, I asked her. And how much TV do you watch a day? She said, oh, eight hours. She was, I realized now she was just being sarcastic. She was just like teasing me. And I took it seriously. I was like, oh, I can't date someone like this. It was ridiculous. Like she was an absolutely adorable woman. But I took Dennis Prague a little too seriously. And I forgot that most people don't really mean what they say. And she was just teasing me, but I took it literally I was so lazy, I couldn't handle nuance, I was so insecure, couldn't handle nuance, and so to deal with a complicated world, I would, you know, try to apply the maxims of Dennis Prager, like I saw he's got a successful life, if I adopt you know, the practices and attitudes of Dennis Prager, then uh, I'll be successful too, and it didn't work out that way, like many of his maxims were just terrible. Because people usually don't mean what they say. People almost never mean what they say. So Dennis also recommends that when you've got problems in a relationship, you should you know, write them out and send them in an email. Like, for me, this is terrible advice. This has never worked out. Always just made things worse. But when you're inflexible, when you're narcissistic, when you, you know, you're looking for power, right? you're trying to attach yourself to power, you know, here's a powerful, influential person, I want to be like this person, you know, let me follow in his footsteps, let me practice his maximum, let me do what he says so I can be like him, and kind of have a rule book for life, and then apply it inflexibly to people, forgetting that people must never mean what they say. Surprise, surprise, doesn't tend to work out very well.